Okay, now that we've set up ZoneMinder uh, with a web camera, uh, now it's time to uh, show you how to set up an IP camera. I do have an IP camera s hooked up to the system, so I'll first show you that. And we'll enter in the IP address of the camera, and then it's on 40, port 8081. Okay, and this brings up this uh, start page for uh, the Panasonic camera, uh, and I have a BLC140A, which is a basic outdoor camera. It doesn't have any pan, tilt, or zoom. Uh, go to the uh, single page there, and there's the camera. Uh, I'm not sure why it's flickering down at the bottom, but you'll see here in a, just a little bit it won't do that. The key here, though, is we don't want all this menu options and, and all that, so we need to find the command that will not bring up all the uh, options here. And some, you know, depending on the camera, it's going to be different. And um, uh, you know, it just took me a quick Google search, and someone knew that. So I'll show you uh, right here is is the uh, uh, command for this one, and you can see it there. Uh, highlighted. It's just MPH, continuous server push, question mark, and then the resolution equals 640 by 480 and quality equals standard. Uh, and so we click on that and there we go. Now we got it in the size we want. Uh, let's see the flickering's gone. Um, and uh, uh, it's just the uh, video. Uh, so we know that that's all working. Now we need to input that into ZoneMinder. So let's go to ZoneMinder here. Um, and we want to add a new camera and let's name it uh, front and that's all we need to add here oh we do need to change this to a remote uh, um, camera okay now we go to source um, and we got HTTP for uh, protocol method simple. Um, here we're going to add in the host name, we're going to add the IP address, but we also need to include in the uh, username and password for the camera. And I'll show you that real quick here. And there it is. It goes, it goes the username colon password at the IP address. And of course your IP address and username and all that's going to be different. Uh, put in your port number 8081 and then here under remote host host path is where we want to put in that uh, e extra commands uh, where we got the video without the menu options and because I've entered it once before testing it I already have it so uh, just enter it in there put our resolution in 640 by 480 and save Okay, we've got orange, so that means it's working. We'll click on it to double check it. And there we go. So now we have it uh, set up in Zone Minder. Um, now, uh, as you can see, uh, the previous camera I set up as Motion Detect. Uh, and so this one here, let's set up as Motion Detect as well. And okay. Okay, turns green, and we got motion detect started. Now, uh, kind of a cool feature of this, and we're going to wait and see if we get any uh, activity on it. Um, maybe a car going by or something like that. Nothing yet. Um, but we can set up if you click on the zones here you can set up different zones uh, on this and uh, what we'll do is right now it's selected at all so let's uh, let's edit that and you can just drag the corners of this in the in the key f is uh, that <clears throat> you want to remember all these settings here 
uh, down here because what we're going to want to do is we're going to make another one so we're going to call this zone one and uh, so we'll save that and see now it's only catching the door area okay so now we want to add a new zone okay and this particular one we just want to the right of it and there's a reason we're going to do this because I want to take out the road because if we have the road in there it records all day long depending on what kind of street you live on uh, so we'll get the sidewalk there oops I did something wrong here. So we do want to do this, okay? And then we'll uh, we're, I copied down the stuff that I had from before on the other zone, so I'm going to enter that in. Okay, there. Oh, I want to fix this here. We're going to still get a little bit of the road if we don't. Okay, I'll we'll save that. There. And see now, we're not going to get the cars going by on the road, but we would get anybody coming up the sidewalk there. Um, so we're done with that. Now let's take a quick look. Let's refresh. And we do have a couple of events, a couple cars went by we probably captured there. So if you, if you select on this, um, on one of those numbers, and then uh, here's your events. And if you go to show timeline, and uh, no, we're just looking at the camera out front. We're not looking at the one in the bedroom. Um, but you can mouse over these, and you can you can kind of see the activity here so see here we got one where before we change the zones a car went by so and uh, that's pretty much it um, so that's that's your setup and uh, you can also you know you can look at your your last hour last day last week last month all events for both cameras or just each camera and see here we got a two zones set up for the front camera uh, and that's all there is uh, thank you very much for viewing and I hope this helps